Well, good afternoon, Walleye Wisdom Watchers. This is Gary reporting from Bob's Marine at Bellevue, Iowa with Ryan Hutchcroft. And Ryan, it's 80 degrees. It's October 7th. What's going on? Oh, high water. Huh? Everybody's calling it quits early this year. Are they they're bringing their rigs in earlier? Yeah. Yep. Well, you I just heard you turn off the jet skis that were sitting right next to you. You've got a couple jet skis that you've been winterizing. Tell me what the process is that you go through when you winterize the jet ski. Well, for these particular models, we're changing the engine oil, yep. uh, stabilizing the fuel, letting it run for a while, make sure the stabilized fuel gets all through the engine, and then fogging the cylinders. And um, that's pretty much it on these motors. Is it? Yep. Is it? And then you've got a lot of uh, bigger engines inside, I see, and uh, traditional boats and pontoons. Is it a little more difficult process to winterize those? A uh, little, few more steps, not going to say difficult. Okay. More, more to them. What uh, what additional things do you have to do to those motors? Oh, well, like on the stern drives, you got to pull off the drive and check the gimbal area, check the U-joints, make sure everything's good there, then change the drive oils. Okay. Um, so that takes a little longer. Sure. And what's the uh, what's the biggest problem that you see as boats come into you for service that uh, boat owners should be aware of uh, and, and keeping their rigs up up to up to snuff? Uh. Well, on stern drives, you know, checking usually the bellow areas is the biggest concern. Okay. People don't usually think about it or check it ever, and then when we winterize and we find it's got water in them and rust it up inside. Okay. Um, for outboard, just not a whole lot of going on there. Usually, like lower unit oil leaks and stuff, okay. water getting into the oil, that's probably the biggest thing there we find during winterizing. Okay. But and that is important to make sure the lower units are changed out. Mm hmm. Yep. Well, if you weren't working and I wasn't working, then we'd be out on these jet skis on the river, wouldn't we? Today, yeah, it'd be really nice today. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ryan, thanks for taking time from a busy afternoon, but it's a beautiful day and it's fun to talk about uh, winterizing uh, jet skis and boats when it's 80 degrees. Yeah. So, thanks a lot, Ryan. Thanks.